Taste my fury. <laughs> Why can't I rage? Samir them. Oh, I already raged. This is going to Or no, it's because I came in here with minus strength and dex. Rip. I needed to rest and I decided to enter, I think. No, 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 this is from Raid. Okay, because it's got a 10 minute. Empire, once so great, where is your strength? Does the same fate await us? Oh, it's the athletics check failure. That makes Uh some kind of amulet I just picked up. Unidentified. I guess somebody else in my party has been identifying these. Apparently it wasn't me. I'm in dust. Excellent. See what we have here. Canera's tail dances just above the ground, giving away the tiefling's excitement. It's obviously anxious to grab the disc, but awaits for your nod. Yeah, take the disc. The girl quickly, quickly grabs the artifact with both hands, and at the very instant you hear a loud sound like a clap, and Canera is enveloped in a cocoon of white light, which turns into... You hear voices whispering and interrupting each other. They seem to be speaking in images, not natural. Black, white, bound, lit, and purple. The strange phenomena ends as quickly as it begun. The darkness disappears and Canera is standing just where he was. Intact, but the disc is gone. Uh, are you okay? What? Canera seems to barely hear you. She shakes her head a few times as if she's emerging from a dream. Amazing, I didn't expect this. Listen, the artifact didn't disappear. I can feel it like it's a part of me now. And I, I think I know how to use it. Leaky looks at you with complete astonishment. I wonder what just happened. I was sleeping in the demiplane, but this time I wasn't pulled out of it like usual. Like I heard a voice. You two are going to drive me insane. Canera and I recovered the disc of the eclipse, and it affected her in a strange what I felt and heard was the influence of the disc, but it's so strange. She closes her eyes and stands still. Her dark hair moves with the wind. Nothing happens for her. Then, without opening her eyes, she begins to move her hand. Yes. No. Hello again. Are we still here in solo sorrow flow? But my sweet sister learned how to use our new ability so quickly. I'm sure it would take her a year. I'm going to try to switch us again. Please tell her for me that she's a foolish goat. Uh, Kaliki looks even more stunned. I'm back again, and, and I hear my sister calling me. I felt it inside, just like my bond to the elemental forces. Now we can switch places whenever we wish. Your sister asked me to tell you to give a big hug to the wonderful Baron who helped you so much. Bluff Chack already passed. Sister asked me to tell you that you're a foolish goat. Just a goat? I remember when she used to call me a vicious little crocodile. Hovering. Now you can switch whenever you want? Yes. Oh, there are so many thoughts in my head. The miracle that we found such a rare artifact and that that could help us. Uh, or perhaps Nethus planned this all along and what, and what should we now do with the gift? Now my sister and I must decide how to divide the time we share. Yes, I think about this and many other things, but for now I wish to thank you for 
Before an outcast's gratitude means anything to you, you have it. One more thing, I'd like to remain in your lands and help you with the quests and travels. Now that we can better control our switches, we won't have to keep running from one place to another. I think Canera will support my idea. Be most welcome. May this be the beginning of a wonderful journey. Okay, so I'm assuming sh I can now. And I shall answer. Standard. Okay, it takes it takes a full standard action to put that over here. So essentially, I can switch between water and fire now. Could say that yeah 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 wait they have different equipment so like you should be able to do this outside of combat too Apparently not. In town, both of them are displayed as party members. Okay, let's go north dangerously and see if there's a crossing up here. There's totally not. Oh, wait. Oh, dear God. Ferocious Hydra. Oh, Lord, there's two of them. Level 7 Magical Beast. Level am I five? Seven, cool. Correct. Yeah. 
Let us strike as one! Consider me provoked. The health bars aren't going down very fast. They actually are going down pretty much faster than I expected. A five attacks. Hide your eyes. I feel somebody level so pretty darn close. Ugh. I'm sorry, what just happened? Build points are the Baron D's main resource and required for settlement, upgrades, construction, management, projects, and so on. Their weekly income is 30. Basic income depends on your Baron D's stats. Each rank adds one BP per week per income, but its total rank contributes to the basic income, cannot exceed the profitability of your Baron's economy rank equals three. It adds plus three to the Population rank is 5, but it cannot hold more than that. All other BP sources, such as trade agreements, uh, are added to the basic income as is. Half of the Barony's income, except for the initial 30, is set to Bravoy. We'll need to claim independence from Bravoy to retain the full BP, uh, but lose the initial 30 during income later in the game. So basically... I can declare my independence, but it's probably not smart to do until I'm making it. More than 15. Yeah, 32 per week. Counselor helped the peasants gather a militia to protect their houses and secure settlements from abandoned. Plus two community, plus four loyalty. Yeah, no, I get you. Ah, 
Aha! She can do treasury stuff. Okay. Oh my god. Proposal for cooperation. Merchants from the Absalom have arrived in the region. They're ready to do business with the barony if their conditions are met. Bandits outrage. Giant weed is taking over more and more farmland. Someone must persuade peasants to start fighting back. I need to go back to the barony thing. I need to catch my breath. We should gather our strength. Ah, the ruler of this barony. I'm flattered by your attention. Sir Stefano Mosconi of Patox at your service. What brings a Patoxian noble to my barony? I was just traveling back home to glorious Patox after paying a visit to Restov, all in service to King Castruccio. Uh, I thought I might take a day to visit the capital of Patox's bold new neighbor. They say, uh, I must say, I really should have spared myself the trouble. It's hardly worth seeing. Five-year-old could tell you you're deliberately trying to defend me. Perhaps you could just tell me directly why you came here. <laughs> You know, the initial goal of my visit was to take a measure of your so-called barony to see if you had anything of value to offer Patox. Do you know what I found? Nothing. Absolutely nothing to offer. Military weak. Culture weak. Economy weak. You best pray to all the gods that my king Irovetti doesn't declare war on you. On the other hand, maybe you should pray he conquers you. This mess of a barony could use a, the rule of a proper king. Perhaps there's a touch of truth to your words, but my barony is still very young. Everything will be different soon. Anything ever changes here, it'll be a number of dung flies, and that will only grow. Ah well, I shan't continue this, sla this slaughter. No use battling someone who can't even fight back. All the best. Wow, fuck that guy. He just came to my kingdom to tell me I sucked. Jenna, a peasant woman, her face soaked with tears, approaches you quickly. Oh, your grace, woe is me. I've met my darkest hour. You are my last hope. By all the gods ever prayed to, don't leave me in need. My name is Jenna Tannerson. Our village is a short way from here. It's been two days since my boy Tig ran away, and I haven't seen him since. We've searched and searched, but of no use. Uh, if you don't find him, no one else will. You have any idea where he might be? There's this old hag in the Gnarl Marches, a swamp witch. I won't say her name out loud, don't even ask. The mere thought of her chills the blood in my veins. She has the evil eye and she eats people. 
She even turns into a black raven and soars into the sky. Uh, it's sure as day that she took my boy. People disappear here frequently? You sure do, for so many hazards around. Hard to name them all. Wild beasts in the forest and monsters, some troblins and bandits and whatever. Even adults have a hard time surviving here, and for a little kid, oh. Try to find him. Oh, Your Grace, thank you so much. I'll be praying to Arastal to grant you a long life. If there are, is any news, I'll be nearby in the tavern. Your Grace, we are victorious. We fought off the spider invasion and defeated the strange dryad who led them. The sign of gratitude your subjects has given you 2,800 bucks. Oh yeah, dude. Hold on. Work. Okay. I wonder, was this flood of spiders truly caused by that curse? I mean, the curse must be an ancient and very ominous. The spiders were definitely scary as well, but they weren't ancient and ominous. I agree with Lindsay. This does seem strange. It seems more like the plot of an insane dryad than, than a true curse. And how can we explain the dismal atmosphere on Bald Hilltop? Pressure both of us felt there, Jod. Maybe the curse drove the poor dryad insane, causing her to lead the spider invasion on the barony. In any case, I have alarming news. As soon as the spider invasion is over, I visited the hilltop again. It's grown quite once... Excuse me. It's grown quiet once more, and just as gloomy as before. I don't think the curse is broken, just laying low, like a monster that rests before it feeds again. What do, uh, I want to deal with this once and for all. What do you recommend? Yes, let's level the bald hill top to the ground and put an end to the curse. I think that's a little extreme. I doubt we'll be able to defeat it in such a straightforward fashion. The heart of the curse is undoubtedly centered on the hilltop, but the spiders appeared all throughout the barony. I don't think we are going to do any damage to the curse by destroying the hilltop. I would expect exactly the opposite. We could only provoke it into attacking again. Immediately on the hills of the last. No, the best we can do for now is make sure we prepare for the next attack. Don't be such a pessimist. Uh, we might truly be able to overcome the curse, but only by studying it thoroughly. Grace, I will gather all the information available on the situation and get to it. How much time do we have? Oh, a fair amount. I'd say half a year, even more. But that the bald uh, hilltop is quiet again, I can barely feel its evil will, but I'm sure we'll have enough time to prepare for the next attack. Let's prepare. Very wise. If only we knew more about the curse, we might figure out a way to fight it. Uh, I don't understand. I spoke to the locals. They've never had spider invasions before, and nothing ever happened on Bald Hilltop either. Uh, now both spiders and the curse, right when the new barony appears in the Stolen Lands, all of this seems highly coincident. Gave me a... What? How about I just not open that anymore? Every time I click on it, it's like, dang, dang. All right. What is this number? Is this the number of days remaining? Yeah, six days. Okay. Six, eight, nineteen, twenty, and I really can't do anything until then. We should gather our strength.
Oh yeah, look at that. Natural armor plus one. Hear that she has lower AC. Huh. Christian leveled. That means we'll be leveling up pretty quick. At 6th level, all of your cure spells are treated as if they were empowered, increasing the amount of healing by half. This does not apply to damage dealt to undead with the cure spell. Okay. No spells? Nope. Alright. Ah ha 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 Okay. Oops. Ooh, dispel magic. Hell yeah. Let's go. Okay. Did I ever play No Man's Sky? Yes, I did. I played it for like 150, 200 hours, something like that. Old Witch lives in the swamp that the locals call the Gnarl Marches. Jenna is convinced that she's the one who stole the boy. I get a sneaking suspicion she had nothing to do with it. Uh, does... You have the paint. You do have the paint. Give me that back. Give me the torch. Alright, who am I taking with me? Um... 
everybody is you know what's what's really good is every character seems pretty good I haven't found a character that isn't good yet I'll mess with that later Okay. Verdant Chambers? Oh, that's the nymph. Okay. Just go to the Gnarl Marches and start looking around, I guess. I don't have much more information than that. It's a little unfortunate. North Gnarl Marches. I also don't know if it's north or south. And dire Gnarl Marches, I guess it could be there. Huh. Uh, well, crap, I think the kid's dead now, because I don't know where the hell... A ford across the Skunk River. Hey, that's awesome. Muscles. Taste my fury. Wait, what did you do? This is going to hurt. Wrecked.
Who's my favorite character so far? Oh, I like all of them. It would depend on the situation. Another one. And another one. I'll split you in half. Burn. You force my hand. Does Valerie have a taunt? If she does, I'm not aware of it. It'd be nice if she did. I think her AC is like 800. 28. Her AC is ridiculously high. I could give her... Like, eventually a full plate. That's only, like, one more AC for her. That's not even that. I do enjoy stacking AC on her, though, and throwing her up front. How many attacks can she do? Just one. I'm assuming that's based off of her Tower Shield Specialist class. Because she's defensive focused as opposed to offensively focused, so... Her fighter skills are not... Um, not all that specifically adjusted. That What does AC? Armor class. That's ha how hard she is to hit. The higher the number, the harder it is to hit them. Essentially, the enemy has to roll a 28 just to hit her.
What's my AC? I don't know. Let me check. I'll try to make this swift. All right, one down. My AC is twenty-two. <laughs> Thank you. One of those. You can look up how many attacks a character can do on the class sheet. Just hover your mouse over the empty space on one of the level columns and check the tooltip. Oh, where is she? Here. Character sheet. Class. Hover over, over an empty space on one of the left columns. You mean right columns? Level call. So here. Oh, here. Base attack bonus. Oh, so base attack bonus. So first attack gets a plus five. Second attack doesn't exist. Level six. Second attack plus one. She gets a second attack at level six. Damn, that's sick. There's probably like fighters dedicated to offense as opposed to defense, and they probably get their second attack quicker. Oh, the boom sayer. Flames take you. Hey, get wrecked, nerd. Twenty two. <laughs> I was no, I, I didn't have any reason to say it other than to try to oh. prompt you. Yeah, I think you're like, hee <laughs> <laughs> It's what I wanted. Onwards! Take that guy out. Lighter nerd. So it's come to this. Let's start hitting the archer back there. Do I get second attacks? Yes. At level six. <laughs> nice. And level six is going to be a significant upgrade in damage output. Getting more attacks. Taste my fury. You can't stop me. Stay behind me. Repent.
The camp looks habitable. Its owners must be somewhere nearby. The gnomes fought fiercely, but eventually were outnumbered. Hey, a rope. Because it said cooking almanac, I was all like, read it. Cobalt corpses are badly burned by acid and alchemical fire. Mouthwatering broth is simmering in the pot. <laughs> a sigh, that's cool. Raphael. There's also nunchucks. Yeah, we could just make the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> there's, there's dueling swords, which looks like katanas. There's size nunchucks, and I'm sure there's a bow staff. Yeah, there's like quarter staffs and stuff like that. It's close enough. Gotta help us. Help the beleaguered travelers, okay? I don't know about you, but I'd really like the trees to go transparent when they're like this. You forced my hand. I didn't notice that, but I'll pay closer attention now. <clears throat> this is going to hurt. Every time there's blood, the camera moves now. I can't see it. Oh, that's cool. Bring it! This is for you! Of course, she misses. I'll try to make this swift. Oh, hit something. Alright.
Miri dealt 21 damage. Right. You next, huh? Burn. God, somebody hit him. Damn. Let us strike as one. Thank you. Look who it is. There's a purple cobalt on the riverbank who looks just like your acquaintance, Tartuccio. Cobalts want this cart. Cobalts shall have it. The horse skull hides most of the cobalt's face, but you see his vicious eye glinting through the empty socket staring behind you. By orders of myself, the glorious clean King Tartuck. Jubal lost. The head of the Gnome Expedition wipes his brows glaringly at the Cobalt. This bastard was the one taking our ears off while the rest of them were trying to steal our cart. Talking our ears off, sorry. King Tartuck, what do you have to say of a bit of regicide? I've killed you, boss. Yeah, Tartuccio, why are you not dead? How dare you speak to the king? Shardaz. Ah. Heads will roll! <laughs> Bro, what the hell? So it's come to this. I don't like you. Go down! 
Repent! Consider me provoked. Great. Hey, all right. Flames take you. Taste my fury. And her ability is weird. Sometimes she charges and attacks. Oh, because she had to move. Never mind. I'm dumb. This is going to hurt. I got it. You forced my hand. Mm-hmm. 